Here we go again with the Trademore Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Wow. <laughs> <Sure>. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Happy New Week. Hello, Venus is near. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is true. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that being said, my wife said we should do a Halloween special show. Okay. Yeah, with costumes or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> could be fun could be fun yeah of course okay but today's topic is a different one but it's also yeah, I'm, related I'm Warren curious. Buffett's nightmare is his gain here is the last investor of IBM Matthias D <laughs> <laughs> okay so the whole world has been dumping IBM's shares after Warren Buffett exited the stock and basically admitted that this was his worst mistake of the last 20 years has been to buy IBM instead of Google. Mm -hmm. So, and if you look a bit at the stock's story, well, I mean, here you see it on a daily basis and you can see why I'm excited that Matthias does have this stock because it went up from 146 to 161 all, yeah. and all of this happened just last week. Um, and Matthias didn't even realize it. <laughs> he only <laughs> realized it right now, and that's why we spoke about it. So, no, 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 not today. I realized it um, on Friday. On Friday, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So immediately after the 10% <laughs> rally, just two days later. <laughs> <laughs> I was really surprised yeah, and, and happy, of course. So the weekend was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, let's take a look first where the stock is coming from. So I'm taking a monthly chart now. Most people have never seen this. <laughs> this is a yeah, monthly chart. So each of these candles here demonstrates one month of price development. You can see that yeah, this stock has, uh, after all, it it has gone up since two, since 1994, but <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, let, me, let me open it up here. So here's the monthly chart. So um, since 1994, it has indeed actually gone from 40 to 160. So you would have quadrupled your money over the short space of <laughs> 30 years, basically. Um, but, um, um, well, 20 years. Uh, yeah, but yeah. What? at the level from 1988 almost. Ah, 1988. Okay, no, I'm not looking that far back. But um, if you're talking about the last crash, then yeah, that's when it happened. Okay, anyways, then what I want to show you is the weekly chart. So we, we are now zooming in on more current developments. And there you can see a steady downtrend. So Warren Buffett had been hoping that IBM would be a good investment, but um, for reasons that he didn't fully communicate when he invested, um, he bought IBM instead of Google and um, Amazon and so on. So he missed out, of all of, out on all of those and regrets it even today. He and Charlie Munger acknowledged that that has been the mistake over the last 20 years or over the last 10 years, worst mistake. Mm -hmm. um, and when did you buy the stock, Wolf? So now I'm on the daily chart here and you can see yeah. uh, the recent decided, game. I decided to, to buy these stocks in the end of September. So end of September. Weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's so. a great entry, I know, but but it, it was randomly, so it doesn't matter to me if the price goes yeah. up or down. Of course, mm -hmm. it, it's good to see rising prices, but the decision was just on the dividend. Uh, of okay, IBM. so tell me more about the dividend. The dividend is more than 2% per quarter, mm -hmm. and this is for such a great uh, company, a great dividend, and mm -hmm. so I decided to, to have these stocks in my portfolio. Okay, very interesting. So this is in Matthias's long-term portfolio. He has two portfolios, one that is more an active income strategy where he wants to generate money on a monthly basis that he can use to prop up his lifestyle or his long-term account. So mm -hmm. if he doesn't go for a crazy vacation or the next big party, then <laughs> <laughs> then this money goes straight into the no, retirement account. <laughs> Pardon? It's never going to happen that I go to party. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the party comes to you. Um, <laughs> yes, <all right. laughs> To your account. Well, that's where it goes. All the money 
that Matthias makes then ends up in his retirement account basically but he makes the money here with the with the more active account but here this is now a wonderful long-term investment that he made just at the right time but um, and he made it as part of a dividend strategy so mm -hmm. basically the strategy to buy solid companies that won't lose a lot in value but that are paying nice dividends so that he can have his two three four percent per year in the long run with this with this account and save his money not only from inflation but also mm -hmm. from whatever else could be done with that money <laughs> and with the money of the dividends i buy more of these shares so yeah. this is also a part of the dividend yeah. strategy mm -hmm. i make so reinvestment of the dividend but of course when matthias uh, is 80 or 120 or 200 i don't know about the future <laughs> so i don't know when we will consider him being old but uh, then one day he will also take that dividend and enjoy it yes, that's of course, that's of course. course part of the dream for all traders and investors and matthias is living it <laughs> um <laughs> so now let's look a bit more at fundamentals of this company so you didn't look at more of the fundamentals because you just said it's a big blue chip company it's paying a nice dividend yes Fair enough so uh, i had three parameters to to select ibm one was of course the market capitalization mm -hmm. uh, the other thing was the the price of the stock so i don't want to buy stocks with the price below 20 dollars mm -hmm. and the third one was the yeah of course the dividend Okay, so market capitalization, dividend, and what was the first one? The the price of the stock. The price of the stock. Okay, and market cap. What's your criteria there? Um, it's over. I think it's the the, the second highest. Or I have to check. It, but I over a hundred billion or over. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So over a hundred billion in market cap. So there aren't that many companies around in that category and. At the same time, over 2% dividend. So when IBM entered this category, Matthias jumped on it like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, more about like why this could be interesting at the moment. Um, the last time I became curious about IBM was actually also last week because they released um, news that they are developing and releasing and selling technology to help central banks create bitcoins for mm. but basically not bitcoins but other cryptocurrencies for central banks so ibm wants to make the world a cryptocurrency place where it's actually against the spirit of cryptocurrencies and I, I issued by that. central banks <laughs> so for all cryptocurrency skeptics ibm might be your <laughs> your trojan horse into the cryptocurrency world Okay. And that's funny because I'm not interested in cryptocurrencies, as you already know, and now I'm an investor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't know it, but no. Well, and the other interesting thing about IBM is that IBM now makes 45% of its revenue from, yeah, I would call it new, um, or was it 45% of its free cash flow? I'm, I'm not sure, um, but a significant portion of uh, IBM's revenue or cash flow now comes from new sources of revenue such as the artificial intelligence initiative called Watson inside of IBM and um, initiatives like that as opposed to its traditional old business that has been going on for 30 years. And basically the main difference b of between those different businesses is that more of the new business is on a subscription basis. So it's more interesting for investors basically to have subscription-based revenue than one-time sales revenue. And the a company that made this transition much better than IBM has been Microsoft. So Microsoft now has basically a market cap of $600 billion, IBM $150 billion today, and they both were in a similar situation in in like just 10 or 15 years ago so mm -hmm. that's basically what you what you can learn fundamentally here but now of course could be ibm's time to catch up a bit of that market cap so who knows but um i wouldn't say that it's impossible for ibm to go up to the 200 dollar mark again yeah 211 was i think the all-time high mm -hmm. um i'm not sure but i think close to that let me check the monthly chart again yeah 215 
we had in uh, 213 we had the level yeah, of so this, um, it's it's not impossible and the 180 I'd be surprised if it doesn't fight for that but of course you take your own decisions with your investments and if you want more interesting trading ideas and signals come to trademore.com and sign up to the premium service because that's where you can get many many more trading signals in real time in our community and also of course Matthias here will make a learning plan for you or give en enroll you into our new nano diploma program where mm -hmm. you have all the courses in a really guided learning path and can can get That's the, cool the best service possible yeah okay check it out that's it from us for today it's been okay. a pleasure and see you tomorrow guys see you tomorrow bye, bye.